You will likely be exposed to human papillomavirus, or HPV, at some point in your life. How does that make you feel? In fact, HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection in the world, with 80% of us being infected at some point in our lives. So it's not rare at all, and an infection is no cause for shame. Understanding how you can get HPV, how to prevent it, and how to treat it is essential in reducing its worldwide prevalence. HPV causes contact infection, which means that the virus resides in the cells near the point of infection, rather than spreading throughout your entire body. Since HPV is most often transmitted through sexual activity, this means that certain cells are at risk. Current data indicates that HPV infection is potentially associated with 90% of anal cancers, 12-63% to of oropharyngeal cancers, 36-40% to of penile cancers, 40-64% to of vaginal cancers, and 40-51% to of vulvar cancers. You can test for HPV in the cells of these areas, but it isn't common. This is because while treatments exist for the adverse health effects caused by HPV, there is no treatment for the virus itself. There are over 100 types of HPV. The body's immune system is able to eradicate most strains before they cause any harm but certain other strains like HPV 6 and 11 cause abnormalities in the cells of the infected tissue, which can develop into genital warts. While this may be worrying and create self-esteem issues, the use of prescribed topical creams can help eliminate these warts without causing long-term damage to your health. Another 13 strains of HPV can cause cells to divide at a very rapid pace, leading to the development of cancerous growth. In particular, the cells of the cervix are at risk. HPV strains 16 and 18 cause approximately 70% of all cervical cancers worldwide. It can take up to 20 years for these strains to develop into cancer, but with regular screening, you can prevent this progression. If you are a smoker or engage in sexual activity with multiple partners, you are at a heightened risk of HPV developing into cervical cancer. Women who are 21 or older can undergo a pap smear every three years, where cells from the cervix are gently scraped away and examined for abnormal growth. A positive test doesn't mean you have cervical cancer, but it does mean that you have irregular cells which can develop into cancerous cells. If you find yourself in this position, you will be monitored and given more frequent pap smears or a colposcopy. This involves the doctor looking at the cervix with a microscope and taking a small biopsy if necessary. Men have the ability to transmit HPV, but there is no such confirmed lab test available for them. Cervical cancer is one of the most preventable cancers. You can use condoms to prevent the spread of HPV during sex. There are also three vaccines which have an efficacy of 97 to 100% against HPV strains which cause genital warts and cervical cancer if you have never been exposed to HPV before. The vaccines come in three doses administered months apart, spanning one year in total, and they are only beneficial if all three doses are administered. Vaccination is still recommended for people with prior HPV infection as it can protect against strains which the body is not infected with. However, the efficacy for this population is estimated to be 44 to 53 percent. Routine HPV vaccination for girls and boys start at age 11 or 12, but can be started as early as age 9. As of 2018, the American FDA announced that HPV vaccines can be used for both males and females aged 13 to 45 who have not started the vaccines or who started but did not complete the series. Researchers are also developing an injection for people who are already infected with cancerous strains 16 and 18. With so many options, it's essential to consider if becoming vaccinated and undergoing cervical screening is for you. The vaccination of women and men can create a 90% reduction of cervical cancer cases worldwide. The avoidance of cervical screening and vaccination due to socio-cultural taboos promotes HPV and consequently cervical cancer. 
women are not aware, literate enough to go for regular pap screening, or face stigma for sexual issues in developing regions. It's important to discuss your sexual health with a healthcare provider who can discuss your options to prevent and treat HPV. Please remember that this video is not a replacement for a medical professional.